No, then. My name is Professor Mary Margaret Reynolds, and I'm so very pleased to see such a large turnout for this virtual lecture, the diaphragm, versus the taco from Taco Bell. How's my sound? Can everyone hear me? Good, good. All right, well, I've been racking my brain as to the most plausible, practical, and precise way to explain the differences and the similarities between a taco from Taco Bell and the diaphragm. Now then, let's see, where should we start with this wonderful comparology? Ew, well, of course, the beginning, right? <laughs> It'd be quite silly for me to start at the end and then work towards the beginning, wouldn't it? All right, well, let's make sure we have everything we need. I have all my diaphragms here in various sizes. Uh, a spermicide jelly, of course. We have a taco shell, the innards, and some makings. Good, good. It looks like we have everything we need for our comparison. This is quite exciting, don't you agree? Well, let's start at the beginning with Exhibit A, the taco from Taco Bell. Now, if you would, please notice the shape of the taco, the round bottom, and how the sides horizontally jet up over to the right and left in order to create this pocket, in order to contain substances. Now then, when we are preparing the taco, first we need to put in our ground beef, pre-prepared. Of course, you could use beans if you would like, or, or even uh, some of that vegan uh, types of ground beef, whatever rocks your boat, really. Let me just put this all in. There we go. Oh, that's quite nice. It smells awfully good. I think I'll add a little bit of cheese. I do love the cheese. <laughs> cheese is quite a tasty thing. And of course, we should put in some lettuce. There we go. Not too much. I mean, we all drab it, so maybe we are. <laughs> Oh, I make myself laugh. A little bit of sauce, some tomato, and there we have it. A filled taco. As you will see, the rounded bottom here is actually helping to contain all the fillings inside, inside the taco. Now, of course, we need to prepare the taco. So, I have here a piece of paper from Taco Bell. Let me just go ahead and wrap it up now. And of course we want to put it in the Taco Bell wrapping. Place the taco in the bag. Add some hot sauce or mild, depending upon what you like. And of course we have the napkins. There we go. Say, have you ever tried that double-decker taco from Taco Bell? Oh, you should. It's quite, quite good. Now then, not too difficult really. And, and this is really quite tasty, if I may add. Are there any questions about the taco from Taco Bell? No? Well, good, good. On we go then. Far, far, far away to diaphragm land. Now, as you can see, the diaphragm is a round piece of rubber with a rim made out of firm but flexible material so you can bend the diaphragm any which way you want and it will always resume its natural shape. Now, of course, if you were to try to do this with the top shell, you would not have any success. See, breakage, if you would. There just is no flexibility there. Now, for the second part of this comparison, I had asked the conference organizers to provide a live subject for this demonstration of the diaphragm insertion process, only to be confronted with a firm no. Apparently, they would cross the line between academic rigor and taste. I try to confront this problem with a nice pair of mannequin legs only to be rebuffed once again by the lack of anatomically correct mannequins available on the market today. This has left me with no choice but to break the number one rule in science and to experiment on myself. However, to satisfy our distinguished conference organizers, great care will be taken for this portion of the demonstration. Now, 
on we go. First, you take the spermicide jelly, and you want to put a small amount, oh, about a quarter, if you will, into the cup of the diaphragm. Squirt it all in there. Then you want to take your finger and place the jelly around the rim, like so. There. Now, you're going to bend the diaphragm into a shape of the taco, you see there, and then you're going to insert it into the vagina, all the way up, or all, all the way up, 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 to the uterus. Now, if you will notice one other difference between the taco and, and the diaphragm is that you eat one while inserting the other. I sternly suggest that you be careful not to confuse the opposing orifices. The result could be quite disastrous. Now, just for the demonstration, oh, uh, right, right, let me just go ahead and put up that barrier one moment. Nothing to see here, conference organizers. Nothing to see. There we go. Now just envision what's going on while you are looking at the blank space. All right. Now let me take off my pants. There we are. Put my legs up. For this demonstration, so that I am nice and sterile, I'm also going to go ahead and use my rubber gloves. But of course, this isn't a necessary step, especially if you're in the mess of it all. All right, now, you grab the diaphragm and you slip it into the exact spot. One moment here. One moment. Oh, this always takes so damn long. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Why don't you just all hum a nice little tune? There we are. Oh, there. Oh, good. Oh, 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 there we are. Excellent. Now then, uh, 8 to 24 hours after sex, it is time to take the diaphragm out. Uh, first, what you do is you insert a finger into your vagina, and then you rather hook it onto the diaphragm like a fish, and then you pull it out. One moment, please. It hasn't been eight to 24 hours, but of course I haven't had sex, so it's not really an issue here. One second. <laughs> you know, <laughs> once I tried to insert the diaphragm, and it took approximately 45 minutes. <sighs> oh, there we are. Excellent. Clean myself up. Ah, and by that time, of course, my dear loved one was firmly asleep. Oh, there we are. Now, it's odd when you think about it. I mean, men seem to know a lot more about uh, uh, the mating season of duck than they do about their own partner, which is really quite astounding. Ah, but I'll save that a subject for another time. Uh, men versus on the hunt versus women on the rag. Oh, that could be an excellent, excellent, excellent uh, comparology lecture. Very good. Well, as you can see, between the diaphragm and the taco from Taco Bell, the shapes are similar. They both hold substances in the center of them, uh, of course, it is much easier to put the taco into the Taco Bell bag than it is, of course, to put the diaphragm into the woman, but then life does have its ups and downs, doesn't it? <laughs> well then, that's all we have for today. If you have any questions, please be certain to email them to me in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer anything you need. Oh, yes, I think I rather earn this. Bon appetit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Phew, very, very good. <laughs> Goodbye now. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm.